Are you a solo cruiser who looks for affordable options to cruise solo? If so, you probably seek out solo cruise cabins to avoid that double occupancy price. But are solo cabins the most affordable and do they provide the best value for solo cruisers? In a series of videos, I'm gonna take a deep dive into the look of solo cabin pricing to find the best affordable options for solo cruisers. Welcome to my channel. I am Cheryl, also known as Sig Cruiser, that solo introvert and gluten-free cruiser. In this video, I'm taking a look at pricing options for solos on Norwegian Cruise Line. Last year, NCL announced that they were expanding solo cabins around their fleet. Previously, they only had studio cabins on certain ships, but now they have expanded their accommodations by adding 1,000 cabins across their fleet. So they now not only have the solo studio cabin, but solo interiors, solo ocean views, and solo balconies. But are these the best value for solo cruisers? Let's take a look at that. Now to check this out, I selected a five day sailing on the Norwegian Breakaway for November 19th through the 24th. There are three cabins that we're going to look into and that's the solo studio, the solo interior, and the inside cabin at double occupancy for a solo. Now if we start with the studio, we see a base price of $762. Now this is the cruise rate without the taxes and fees added. For the newly added solo interior cabins, we have a cruise rate of $702. Yes, this is a lower rate, but that's not the full story. We'll get into that at the end of this video. The inside cabin has a double occupancy rate of $804 for the solo cruiser. Now before we go into the final pricing of these cabins, let's look at the difference between cabins because sometimes you can find value, you know, in the differences between the cabins. First, we're going to assume the free at sea for all cabins, so we're going to take that off the table for options. Now the Solo Studio is only for one cruiser and the size of the cabin can range from 97 square feet to 131 square feet. Our newly added solo inside is more spacious at 135 to 150 square feet. And the inside cabin has a total approximate size of 129 to 201 square feet. Now, some of the sizes overlap a little. Technically, you can have a solo inside that's a little bit bigger than an inside cabin at double occupancy, but I would say it's probably not enough overlap to make a noticeable huge difference between the cabins. Now, I didn't have a chance to review the actual cabins, but this may be something you want to check into. The newly added solo cabins are in a specific location, so it will be interesting to see if these cabins are in locations that maybe are less desirable. I'm not saying that's what's occurring, but it would be interesting to see where these cabins are, if they're above or below, you know, any places that have noise or if they're like for the ocean view and balcony, are they obstructed? I'm not sure. So that's something to look into for another time. Now getting back to our pricing options, now let's look at the final pricing. The final price with taxes, port fees, and our free at sea gratuities. Yeah, that free at sea is really not free. But that's another vlog again. For our five day cruise on the Norwegian Breakaway is $1,222.05. Our solo inside is $1,162.05. And the inside cabin at double occupancy, well, that's $1,263.80. Now, let's put all this information together to see it in one shot. First, here was the size difference between our interior cabins. Basically, a range of 100 to 200 square feet. Next, our price differences. Here, the Solo Inside is the lowest price, coming in lower than the Solo Studio, which is a smaller cabin. 
What's most interesting is the difference from double occupancy. Because a lot of people who look for solo cabins expect them to be a lot cheaper than a regular cabin at double occupancy. But here, our solo inside cabin is a mere $101.75 cheaper than a solo cruiser booking the inside cabin at double occupancy. And the studio cabin is only $41.75 cheaper than double occupancy. So booking the solo inside cabin will be an approximate 10% savings from booking a regular cabin at double occupancy and about half of that savings for the solo studio cabin. So technically, the solo cabins are cheaper, but not by much. So the question is, with $50 to $100 difference in the cruise price, make a difference in whether you're able to sail alone? Now, but does this mean that solo cruise cabins are of lesser value? Not necessarily. If you're a solo cruiser who looks to connect with other cruisers on the cruise ship, now let's remember, at least on NCL, they have that solo cruise lounge. And from what I hear, they have a host who arranges activities around the ships or sets up dinners. So you have someone that's facilitating solo meetups. Now, if that's important to you, you can consider it as NCL adding value rather than removing the single supplement and putting you in a smaller room. But if you're a solo cruiser like me who doesn't necessarily seek out others on the ship to connect with, and you're not likely to hang out in the solo lounge, well then you're looking at maybe five to 10% off a regular room at double occupancy. Now it's up to you to determine whether you find value in that five to 10% discount. Now one thing to note, this is only one sailing. Prices fluctuate up and down all the time. Prices vary from ship to ship, from sailing to sailing. Plus there are sales out there that Norwegian does from time to time. So prices may vary. My point here is to show you that you really have to dig into the details. Just because it's a solo cabin doesn't mean it's the most affordable or will provide the best value for you. Take the time to price it out or work with a travel agent who can dig into these details and find the best value for you. Now, I hope you found this valuable. If you did, please hit the thumbs up on this video. And if you haven't already, I invite you to subscribe to my channel for more videos like these and even consider joining my membership for exclusive content or for early access to videos like these and more. And thank you so much for watching and until the next video, bye-bye.